Alrighty, so let's look at the Valkyrie build here. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple things here. I'm going to show the easy, or not easy, the uh, way to level a Valkyrie. And this is a basic uh, skill builder. Obviously you can add a lot more points to this, but this is a, a good way to get going. Um, first off with the Valkyrie, you'll never take any of the. So your basic line is left mouse button. You're not going to ever take those. <coughs> the second line is forward slash. Uh, this is uh, up to you. Uh, a lot of Valks don't take this. I take it because if you see there, you get uh, plus 15 of, uh, of your SP back. So your mana comes back. This is a good way when you're simply grinding to be able to just keep going and never need any concentrated herbal juice. So I put all three ranks into this. That does cost uh, 18. It costs uh, 18 points, so it's not too much. And to me, it just makes grinding that much easier. I don't need to constantly worry about pots. There's other skills that do the same thing. I put three ranks into this. It's not a must. Um, you're going to put one rank into Val Trust. This, when you hold shift in the space bar, it refills your mana 100%. You will need this. You don't need any more points in it. Um, but you, you are going to need it. Um, <clears throat> no need for charging slash. Uh, sideways cut, you're going to put one rank in this. This is just your uh, kind of... A step to the side, a little bit of an evasion skill. It's not an iframe, but it's a way to be able to move in and out of uh, your your opponents and, and get out of there and set up another skill. Good way to set up a range knockdown with this also. Um, severing light, I don't touch. You're going to definitely want to take, uh, and this by the way is a level 51 skill build with only 468 points, so it is minimal. You're absolutely going to need to max out Breath of Elian each, the, each time you can get this. This is one of your first uh, skills that you're going to max out. So anytime you can put points in Breath of Alien, you're going to take it. This, uh, when it's all the way uh, maxed out, it's basically going to give you about 75% of your mana and health back. So that's a must. <clears throat> Sword of Judgment, this is your number one skill. If uh, this you get from a quest, the Black Spirit, uh, if you look at it down there in animation, you see she does three strikes, and the third strike is the, the one that just destroys people. So <clears throat> uh, remember that because I'm going to come back to it later uh, and there's ways that you can make it so that when you do this skill you can skip the first and second slash and just go right to the big the big damage dealer because in this game combat's very fast and if you're just trying to do backwards right click on someone you're never going to get the third strike off and that's the one that you want um, <clears throat> you're going to take sort of judgment all the way up this is the reason why I say this is a level 51 build and Valkyries are really not a a uh, uh, I don't want to say a factor, but they're really not that much of a factor until they get level 51 simply because of this skill. Um, when you hold your backwards and right click, uh, you see that she does the, the slash in the last one. She does all that damage. With this skill, it'll do double damage at the end. Watch how she holds it. So you see the second one there. She double taps R. You don't need to double tap R. You can just hold it. But this is your main skill. So what you're trying to do as a Valkyrie is always find the cancels so that you can skip those first two slashes and land that uh, big double da uh, double bash there at the end. <clears throat> so this is another one that you're going to level all the way up as soon as you can. Um, guard doesn't cost any points. It's uh, something you'll just get automatically at your Q skill. This is uh, huge. Also, if you watch the animation there, you're going to see her um, stick her sword in the air and then pull it back down. Um, that as soon as you press Q and she's putting her sword in here, you are in block. Even though it looks like you're not, you are blocking even while she's holding the sword in here. So don't worry about the weird animation with it. Um, not going to worry about shield strike too much. This is an option. Some people do it. Um, I I don't, but it's an option. Um, shield counter, same thing. Um, uh, it, I, I don't I don't do it. Some people do so. Um, don't worry about that too much. Shield throw is an absolute must. You're gonna. This is your main leveler. Um, shield throw. You're gonna. As soon as you, as soon as you can get shield throw, you're gonna max it out. Uh, shield throw also in PvP. This is a really good skill because it uh, it snares people. So it gives them that little stagger snare, so you can you know get in there and and do some of your your awesome skills. Uh, so shield throw there. The next when they're shield chase you're going to want to max this out as soon as you can well i don't want to say as soon as you can but by the time you're level 51 to pvp shield chase is huge this is one of your closers um so valkyrie's not uh not a she's not a she's a turtle up class 
So this is much more of a counter class. You need to know your opponent and be able to uh, counter off of your opponent because you're not going to be chasing people down all over the place. You've got the ability to keep people in the fight, but if they're totally disengaged, you're, you're not going to do too much there chasing them down. But Shield Chase, you put a rank in each one, and this is going to allow her from guard to do short little dashes. So a lot of times you can do is dash straight to them and then dash to the left. Or what I'll do is I'll dash to the left uh, right off the get-go and then dash straight towards the person just to kind of throw them off and, and get in there and get a range knockdown on them. Uh, just counter. Uh, some people some people like this skill that the that little uh, stab there she does does do a stagger. I don't like it, but uh, you can do this. Skyward Strike is another one that I'm not a fan of, but um, it's just a little slow. I used to use it, but uh, you can get caught in that animation a lot of times, so I don't use it anymore. <clears throat> uh, counter, you're not going to use Sharp Light. You're going to get one rank in Sharp Light, and that's because, and I'll be going over the, the uh, cancels here in just a little bit, Sharp Light allows you to set up a cancel, so and it's also a knockdown. Um, so one rank in shark light is really good. Uh, don't worry about any of the kicks. Uh, you're going to want one rank in your grab. It's punishment. Uh, and again, these things are things you're going to level up later, but this is to get going. It's a level 50 to 51 Valk. Divine Power, uh, shift le or, excuse me, shift uh, F, is a skill that um, I was doing against a guy, and he was using it. It worked really well for him. Um, I haven't used it too much yet, but it is a good skill, because once you get to the last rank of it, um, let's see, 312% up to 9 targets. Um, and it does knock these people down, as you see. And it does a lot of damage. And it uh, doesn't say it here, but the damage is increased by the amount of SP you have. So you, you push in, pop a herbal juice after your dodge here, max C, uh, uh, C, uh, SP, and then do the skill. You're going to do some major damage. So this is a good skill, uh, not one that I put points in early, but it is a good PvP skill later. Uh, Heaven's Echo is one that you're going to put points in. Um, you don't need to do it right away, but by the time you're around level 50-ish, and this is your buff. This is also a party buff. Uh, one of the reasons people like Valks is because they have this. Uh, this is a good uh, extra extra DP. By the time you max it out, you're getting uh, what is extra 20 DP for 60 seconds, um, and then your friends get extra 12 DP for 60 seconds. So it's a pretty nice buff. You get a Sorkin group stacking AP, and then you get the uh, Valkyrie group stacking DP. That's pretty nice. Um, Righteous Charge. You're going to get one rank in this right away. This is another gap closer. Uh, eventually, you put some ranks into this. I would not put the last rank into this because the last rank, as you see there, um, it knocks them back. And you don't want to knock them back from, uh, from the skills. So you're going to stop Righteous Charge right here, the third rank of it. Because uh, usually... At least for me, when I dash into them, I'm dashing in and then I'm going to grab. And I don't want them to get knocked back uh, off the grab where I can't grab them. So you see this person here knocks them off so much and now you can't do the grab. So you don't want to do that. Um, so uh, don't do all the ranks of Rice's Charge up to the rank 3, but all you need is one rank off the get-go. Um, don't worry about Glaring Slash. Glaring Slash isn't needed. Um, Celestial Spear, you are going to max this all the way up, uh, and that's a, a at the end of it, you're going to do a double spear. This is your range knockdown. This is the one you always hear people talking about uh, with the the uh, uh, range knockdown that Valkyries do a lot of. Um, and then, obviously, your fitness training, you're going to max that out all the way through, so um, make sure you put all your points in uh, fitness training. Not something you need to do right away, but it is important. Um, all right, let's go over to the side here. Your Noble Vow, this is a passive skill you get from the Black Spear quest, so obviously you're going to want to get that. It doesn't cost any points. Um, Shining Dash, this is a really good skill. It's a short dash, and it does a lot of damage at the end of it. Um, so the way I use this, I would follow it up when I'm close to them, and I do a range knockdown, or they're staggered. And you pop it off your bar. You have to use this off your bar, and you're dash into them and hold it. Right at that point where you see her jump in the air, you can cancel out of it and do a grab. So you basically you knock them down, you do the dash to right as she jumps, do your grab, and then after your grab, you can do, uh, well, I'll go over that in a few minutes, but you can cancel into some big skills there. It's a really good damage skill. 
Um, Alliance Protection is a good skill for sieges in particular. Um, I don't use it a lot just because it's such a short amount of time, but it does increase all the resistances for all, everybody within range for six seconds. So, um, you know, it, it's good for resisting a big archer uh, a push into your group at the beginning of a siege or a big wizard push into your, your group. So, especially if you have wizards in a group already with that big protection bubble they have. So, good skill. You're going to definitely want to get one rank in the Judgment of Light because this is your ultimate. Um, and uh, so when you get to your ultimate skill up, you have to have this skill. It's the only reason why I get it at all. You know our ultimate's not that great. Uh, sometimes you use a PvE. And I think that is it. So going back again, that's a, a breakdown of the skills. But again, the ones that you, you need to get right off the uh, get-go when you're building up, you want to get all of Breath of Alien. That's automatic. You're going to be leveling up sort of, sort of Judgment um, every time you can get a rank of that. And Shield Throw. You're going to want to level that all the way up right away. And then the Righteous Charge. Those are your musts while you're leveling up. Righteous Charge to close the gap. And what you'll do is Righteous Charge. As you, you see a, a pack of mobs, you Righteous Charge into them. And then you can use your Sword of Judgment right behind it. That's going to kill a lot of mobs and then shield throw. When you do your shield throw, you hold it. So it's backwards Q, and if you just hold it, uh, the shield will actually stay out there and just keep hitting the targets for a while and, and do a lot of damage. It's a great leveling skill. So this is the way to start your Valkyrie out and get going on her.